morning, Sharon speaking. Sharon, it's John Wanoa here. Hi. Hi. Um, just a mes message for, uh, um, what's her name? In Tony's secretary. Who did you want to speak to? Uh, to um, Tony's secretary. Uh, secretary. Be in the office until Thursday. Oh, okay. So, uh, um, can you give a message to Tony? I've just yes. sent. I've just sent him my emails. For for uh, we're going to have a meeting at some stage, and okay. to check the email um, and some information there for him. Okay. Okay. That was all. Um, what was your name again, sir? John, John Wanoa. W A N O A. He was expecting. Um, some information from me. Okay, perfect. And so let him have it, and then yep. he will email me okay. when he's ready to see me. Okay? Sure, I will let him know. Thank you. Thanks, John. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay, that's Sharon. I forgot Melissa. Right. Uh, Sharon. I write these names down because I tend to forget. Uh, talk to them sometimes. Um, Melissa Bright. Melissa Bright. Oh, P. Melissa Bright. Melissa Bright. Um, Tony Fortune. The lawyers. Sherry. Number. Okay, we'll be bombarded by information of a king. Any information that he can decipher out of that lot, because it's all on Facebook and YouTube now, for anybody to refute. And it's disclosed, discovered, so no one can hide it. I've put it, Winston Peters and Jacinda Ardern on notice today, just a minute ago, and I'm pretty serious. When I make allegations against someone, it sticks. So they've got email now, and my lawyer's got the email just now. And next is in line is Winston Peters, Sean Elias, that's the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Patsy Reddy, the Governor General of New Zealand, John Martin, Chief of the Navy, New Zealand Navy, that's that lot, and Nada Glavish, got to make sure of that one, Ngāti Whātua Crooked Tribe, Iwi, Māori, Papa has forged. Where's my book gone? I lost that. Forged the titles of Terawaikato and the Papa for the Crown, and the Crown swallowed it. The Crown swallowed all that information. Oh, where's my book? Oh, here. I'm looking around for it. Of, of um, Whakapapa, that's Fujin, that they actually exchanged with each other looking at each other in the mirror. Nader Davis and Sean Elias and Jacinda Dern, the three women and Patsy Reddy. Four women here and Hillary Clinton is coming to meet them. Five women and Barack Obama. Six crooks in a melting pot. Mm, I'm making these statements bold and clear that they must refute what I'm saying. So we've got um, we've got oh, I thought I had them written down somewhere. Must be there. 
Okay, we've got Jacinda Ardern, that's the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Winston Peters, Deputy Prime Minister, Nader Glovish, the Ngāti Whātua tribe, Iwi Māori tribe, that belong to the Crown Corporations. Nothing to do with Māori in New Zealand. It's all to do with corporate, private companies. So her, Sean Elias, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of New Zealand, Patsy Reddy, the Governor General of New Zealand, Chris Finlayson, Attorney General of New Zealand, that makes all these treaty claims with this false, fake, fraud, whakapapa of Ngāti Whātua, the Crown's own whakapapa, and John Martin, the Chief of Navy of New Zealand. That's those ones. And the Queen and 11 countries in the TPPA, CPTPPA. The, what's that word again? Progressive. Compromise. Progressive. Compromise, all right. Crooked party partnership. Trans-Pacific Partnership. Comprehensive. Compromise. Yeah, right. There's more compromise. Comprehensive. I better put it back in the chair. Comprehensive. Progressive. Trans-Pacific Partnership. Partnership. Trans Pacific Trade Partnership. Yeah. C P T P T A eleven countries taking part in it. Okay, so for this video I um, just had my lawyers on to go just a minute ago, Fortune Manning, Tony Fortune, and I've just sent him an email, I'm going to read it out to you while I'm on this, uh, so you can hear what I'm saying, um, here, I've sent him my passport details and my real me details, the real me is the internal affairs to identify me as a real living person and a corporate person. That's what they wanted that for. A real me for accounts and my credit card details and bank accounts. That's what they want. To hook money. Okay, so... Um, oh, um... That's not the one. Postally statement. Oh, uh, here. Okay, he, here's my letter to my lawyer that he'll be reading shortly today. Uh, let's bring this around here. I'll put it on here. Put it on this little gadget. There. It seems to be about the right distance. There. Bit of wires out of the way. Bit of rubbish out of the way. And there it is. Okay, people, we are looking at my email to my lawyer. Fortune Manning. He's a very good man. There. Right, here goes. Uh, on 12.38 today, on Mon Monday, the 5th of March 2018. Uh, Nga tua ewa Nga oh, I've spelt that wrong. Okay, ewa, Nga tua ewa Aotea Limited, 07B 16 Park Avenue, Odahu 1062 Auckland, New Zealand. I always seem to make mistakes, every time. Fortune Manning, lawyer, Tony Fortune. Dear Tony, please find and close the latest for application for apostolate, oh gosh, in New Zealand, Internal Affairs and British Foreign Affairs New Zealand. 
I am presently emailed this 44 page document to Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister Winston Peters, Attorney General, Governor General, New Zealand Navy Chief Justice, Supreme Court Queen Elizabeth II, British Prime Minister and British Royal Navy to alert them of the serious offending of our British Paramount Chiefs contracts that need to be settled out with who has legal, legitimate authority titled jurisdiction over New Zealand, in particular the nature of the treaty settlements with the corrupted Whakapapa Mary Land Court titles that I am challenging the New Zealand Crown jurisdiction to make foreign deals in CP TPPA 11 agreements. I proclaim are without clear title over New Zealand, native British title existing to this day, that is our King's Commercial Land Ownership Trading Bank Private Contract flag, I am challenging any man, woman or child, thing or corporate name person to refute my own competing witness fact cited statements that I pay you for giving you my intelligent information that needs to be responded to. I gave Jacinda Ardern till Wednesday 4pm to answer this 44 page statement of claim who I am and what authority I have to start asking them legal questions who are they and where where's their title singled out to face me singled out one by on one accusations in view of the public in a trial by media free issue of information and YouTube video information facts to back me up in my proof of claims I give you is discovered disclosed matter needing sealing because to fake to date supposed to be no one has refuted any of my affidavits YouTube videos and allegations against them I was arrested unlawfully by a police CIB who failed to see me who I am a surrogate king and memorials to this country they ignored the judge dismissed the case. I never appeared in court. It was over and my shirt with the King's coat of arms and flags on it I now use as my evidence in the High Court of Admiralty in London, UK. I have added further information online of these events leading up to the apostolate in Britain, UK writing to complain to the British Prime Minister and British Royal Navy of the Queen Elizabeth II non-performance of her Iwi Maori people she has abandoned, as was expected of her when she started up the EU Parliament in 2008 with Gordon Brown. I have recorded all these years when she abandoned ship of Admiralty in Britain, UK and went into the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest here in New Zealand. Has no seal of herself here in the courts in my hearing. I told the judge the New Zealand courts have no seal of the Queen, no seal of Westminster Parliament over me, a King's Bench Court Native Registrar of Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court in Epsom, Auckland, New Zealand. I opened 12 Native Magistrate Courts including Waitangi Marae and Titi Marae. It recorded on YouTube with the chiefs who appointed me as a surrogate King William IV to go to Westminster, raise our flag partnership with the King William IV 1834 Declaration of War Bank Trading Flag of Admiralty Court Martial Law Jurisdiction that I am authorised to use my position in, in as Sheriff Judgment Creditor in these Native Magistrate Courts, direct to Westminster Courts and Courts of Edinburgh, Scotland, UK. I would like to see you tomorrow, Tuesday 6th of March 2018, to put an injunction on the CPTPP 11 agreement that is to be signed on 8th of March 2018 in Taiwan with New Zealand as one of its members. The Government of New Zealand cannot legally assume that it has clear title to New Zealand of a fraud corrupted Maori Land Court and Iwi Maori Ngāti Whātua Trust instrument title to New Zealand at the whim, sell off its assets without proof of deed title from Britain. I am holding over the New Zealand Government and Parliament as a threat on our national investment banking in security of land interests for their own private corporations. I am now challenging them singled out one by one with me, the proclaimed commercial landowner under our 1834 King William IV private contract deal and its memorials to these lands I have not been refuted of my title yet online in front of the world. Please notify Prime Minister Jacinda Dern 
for me to refrain from signing the CPTPPA agreement till she can show the title to New Zealand clear and incumbent of my British King's title deeds and memorials over the Iwi Marriage Crown land titles. My official letter to her as a surrogate king commercial landowner of New Zealand soil land is now on Facebook and YouTube making it near impossible for those I accuse as criminal fraudsters to get out of this contract with me. Please email me a time to come tomorrow, Tuesday 6 March 2018, as I will be travelling back north to Morris Baker Farm again to assist him in Maryland Court Whangarei 10 land box title deeds that he's holding on to, that I am his customary legal advocate and private investigator of lands. Thank you. Sincerely, John Wano. Please note this notice of 44 pages with your name on it is posted on social media. Facebook and on YouTube live as admissible evidence in the High Court of Admiralty, London, UK. Please take me seriously as this is my proof of claim, true facts, cited evidence. Sincerely, John Wano, sorry, King, King William III, King George IV, and King William IV, Crown Land Patent, TM, commercial landowner of New Zealand country, and its original native land memorials that is not Maori iwi, not iwi, New Zealand iwi Maori. Video Take Notice New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern Monday, 5th of March 2018. You are served publicly no globally. One of two YouTube notice must refute my video with your YouTube video statement. Number two of two YouTube notice must refute my video with your title evidence video statement. Number three, written fact cited evidence affidavit notice you must refute my affidavit with your YouTube title evidence statement. Against this 44 page writ warrant, writ of control and possession, King's Magistrate Court writ warrant, Native Land Court Executive's orders. So those are all the videos here that I've just recently made, just this week, that backs up what I'm saying to Jacinda Ardern. So that's her email and then I'll go to and, and email to that sorry the email to my lawyer and this one to Jacinda I'm going to read this one to Jacinda at three hours ago 10 o'clock 10.08 a.m. on Monday the 5th of March 2018 Natua Ewa Ote Limited 07B 16 Park Avenue Odahu 1062 Auckland New Zealand New Zealand Government Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, Monday 5th of March 2018. Dear Jacinda Ardern, you have 24 hours to respond, refute, challenge my facts cited evidence statement of claims against you that you are illegally administering a fraud legacy of corrupted Ngāti Whātua Trust private company business linked to your self-invented Māori Trusts and its iwi Federation of Maori Authority and its jurisdiction using corrupted Maori whakapapa through your own iwi Maori Crown Corporate Government Trusts. Linked to your own private corporate companies registered as Intuition New Zealand Limited, New Zealand Crown, with your Waitangi National Trust private company under investigation by the Serious Fraud Office, SFO, you must deny what I am proclaiming is true that your government of New Zealand is running a scam, justice courts, police and illegal law system with your own private financial investment interests against the public of New Zealand, taxpayers, citizens and our live Paramount Chiefs, commercial landowners and their financial security trading bank King's Flag Sovereign Authority in British King's Crown Land Patent Partnership interests. In private contract with our native land titles, you have corrupted with a string of offensive people are named, named publicly as judgment debtors with our British flag and King William IV Paramount Chiefs Trading Bank commercial landowners, two party partners, while you are third parties to our 1834 King's private flag of legal authority jurisdiction over your government of no legal authority over our clear titles, New Zealand, country, stone rock title memorials in Arapuni to speak over my legal authority over you. You must respond to my allegations of each of you in the, your natural names and surnames and corporate entity business names 
in all capital letters names that I have singled out with a one trillion pound bounty private default contract on your head bond against your natural name Jacinda Ardern in lower case as a criminal fraud signing deals without a clear title to New Zealand country and 970 million trillion trillion Great Britain pound my pound note against your corporate name Jacinda Ardern in capital letters Ardern for all caps criminal fraudster signing deals without showing me a clear title to New Zealand country with your company business names businesses names on the title with you as one of its judgment debtors as an accessory to your Queen Elizabeth II Rothschild Bank corporate fraud criminal business named in this New Zealand and Maori land court scam land transfer title fraud corrupted business I hold you liable for libels libels every other 10 state countries with you selling New Zealand without clear and incumbent title having no Manukau name on your native land court titles and no true whakapapa in your 1840 Treaty of Waitangi fraud settlement deal. I am the surrogate King William IV flagship of Admiralty native title holder to New Zealand, judgment creditor from Waitangi Marae Native Magistrate Court and King William IV Crown Land Patent, flag, ship, commercial land ownership title holder with Paramount Chief Te Rau Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau of Pungapunga Marae, Mangatauteri Mountain in Arapuni, Cambridge, New Zealand, direct to Westminster Magistrate Court, England, British Royal Navy, our legal partner, with our 1834 flag raised, our British, British Paramount Chief's legal authority to settle your accounts with us. You are notified on YouTube by YouTube video this day, Monday, 5th of March 2018, to respond to my allegations of you are a criminal fraudster, must respond to me with your own face likeness voice on YouTube video and an email statement refuting my claim against you. If you fail to respond to my video, then you are a criminal fraudster who is about to sign the government crown agents of the Queen Elizabeth II live natural woman and men of New Zealand legacy of fraud and deception who collectively co-invented your comprehensive progressive trans-pacific partnership 11 country CPTPP 11 agreements knowing that you are committing grand treason against the natural born living people of New Zealand chiefs, commercial landowners and natural men and women, children, inhabitants of New Zealand shall make legitimate authority, jurisdiction and constitutional law. Decisions to shut you down, arrest you for your crimes of church and state, of silence and ignorance of our King's Bench Native Magistrate Court's charges against you, singled out natural living people, making rogue law unfounded decisions as a pretend caretaker government of New Zealand constitutes a guilty charge plea to a 970 million trillion trillion Great Britain Maui Crown Pound Note judgment debtor owed to the people of New Zealand and to the 250 countries in the world you have defrauded using these Maori land court and New Zealand reserve bank notes derived from these illegal fraud invented instruments for personal gain, self-interest and your own New Zealand government crown invented, corrupted, fraud, self-perpetuating Ngāti Whātua Iwi Maori Trust. Your New Zealand crown births, births and deaths and marriages certificates bond fraud instruments used against me in a recent court case where your New Zealand Police Crown Agent CIB lost the case against me through your lack of evidence against me and my own competent witness intelligence titles and jurisdiction as the surrogate King of Britain UK Westminster Parliament. You defrauded the people of New Zealand and Pacific Islands. 
and you defrauded me, a Paramount Chief and commercial landowner, original native of New Zealand and Pacific Islands. You have 24 hours to respond to me by email and YouTube video by 9am today, Monday 5th March 2018 to 4pm Wednesday 7th of March 2018. If you fail to respond and stay silent, then we have a legitimate right to charge your natural and corporate names for these offences against you singled out from the rest of the Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court hearings online. Trial by media at 4 p.m. Wednesday, 7th of March 2018, on the expiry of this publicly notified court martial law order to have you arrested, charged for treason, and multiple counts of crimes legacy you are an accessory to your predecessors backdating to 1820 private contract between King George IV, Crown Land Patents, Commercial Trading Bank Flag, State Two Party Partnership with Paramount Chief Commercial Landowner of New Zealand Pacific Islands, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau, and myself, his executor and administrator of his New Zealand Moriori Manukau Waikato Memorial Lands Commercial Private Contract Title Deeds to Britain, UK, New Zealand and Pacific Islands countries' estate lands. You, Jacinda Dern, have a bail bond posted on your head of one trillion Maui pound note, Great Britain pound equivalent, King William III pound note, Act 1694, eight point star municipalities, Act 1694, Westminster Parliament, Britain, UK, and King William IV 1834 Declaration of War Bank flag as judgment creditor, UK, New Zealand land laws of England ju jurisdiction as commercial landowners of New Zealand country. Please note this notice in 44 pages, or it's 47 pages actually now, with your name on it posted on social media, Facebook, and on YouTube live as admissible evidence in High Court of Admiralty, London, UK. Please take me seriously as this is my proof of claim, true facts cited evidence. Sincerely, John Wanaw, surrogate King William III, King William, King George IV, and King William IV, Crown Land Patent, Trademark, commercial landowner of New Zealand country and its original native land memorials that is not Iwi Maori. Video, take notice, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Dern, Monday the 5th today, March 2018, you are served publicly globally. Number one of two, YouTube notice, must refute my video with your YouTube video statement. Number two of two. YouTube notice must refute my video with your title evidence video statement. Number three, written fact cited evidence affidavit notice. You must refute my affidavit with your YouTube title evidence statement and accompanying titles. And there are the videos here and the Facebook statements that goes with that apostolized or documents to be apostolized as law of New Zealand. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do there, apart from um, um, just making a statement clear, loud and clear, that you are now in breach of a contract with me from other past Prime Ministers to send her down and failure to perform and respond to all my affidavits. You all are in the same legacy of fraud and corruption of the justice system of New Zealand. <coughs> um, so that's all I want to say for now. Um, get on with my work and send all the other emails out now. So bye for now. I'll see you later. Have a nice day.